Hello everyone, welcome to Beginner's Guide. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this text animation using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now let's get started. Let me open my text editor. I'm going to create my HTML file. Let me create the basic boilerplate. So here, I'm just going to create a div uh, with a class name called container. So inside I'm going to create a h1 tag. Within the h1 tag, I'm going to type I'm a web developer. So that's it. I'm going to save this one. I'm going to open this one with a browser. So as you can see them there, it's showing me the message as I'm a web developer. Now I'm going to include the CSS so that I can style this one a bit. So now let me just link the CSS. Now let me add the CSS file. I wanted to remove the basic margin and padding. So I'm just going to select the whole document using the star. So let me remove the basic margin and padding. I want to set the box sizing as a border box. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to select the class that I have created for the div. I think it's the name is container. Let me say container. So within this container, if you have a look at this design, everything is there in the center of the page. So for that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the display property. It's going to be flex. And then I want to align the items to the center. And then I want to say justify content center. Uh, let me save. And let me go there and refresh. Okay, it's up there. Now what I'm going to do, let me set the width and height. So width will be 100%. And then height will be 100 VH. Let me set some background color. So let me save and refresh the browser. Now the text is in black color. No wonder you, you could not be able to see it. So let me just change the color of the text. So maybe here color would be white. Yeah, now I'm sure that you can able to see it. Now we have managed to create the structure, but we need to create the animated text. We want this text to be animated. So basically, I want this particular text to be a static text and this one has to be a dynamic in the sense it needs to be changing every time as you can see them here. So now it's a web developer. Again, now it's a graphic designer, something like this. So to do that, I'm going to make use of the JavaScript. So you go to the Google, type something called typed JS, something like this, typed JS, hit enter. So go to the first link. I'm sure that you can able to see the GitHub link click this one so after this this is a github repository this was created by this particular gentleman called Matt Bolt so go all the way down there so here is the procedure for us to have this typed JS there are different things that we can use maybe we can copy this and then we can install them using our terminal now I'm not going to use this procedure instead I'm just going to get the CDN so copy this CDN as usual go to your HTML document and then let me just expand this one i'm going to put this one down the css part now i have included the typed js so here i'm going to create the script tag after the div section create the script tag so again you go to the google maybe let me just down there so this is a code that we are going to follow in order to create that animated text so maybe go back and then go to the next link, this matport.com. As you can see them here, here is the site. So go down there all the way. Again, there is an installation procedure. Uh, we are not going to get into this one. Actually, we are interested in this part. So what you can do, simply copy this part and paste them here. Let me explain you what does this mean. So this particular function is coming from the typed JS. So this element is the name of the class. How do I say it's the name of the class? As you can see them here, there is a dot in friend, isn't it so? So as I said that, I'm going to have, I am a, as a static text. This one, I want them to be a dynamic text. So here, I'm going to remove this part. And then I'm going to add the span tag. Okay, for this span tag, I'm going to give the class name. The class name has to be the same name as this particular class name that we have them here. So I'm going to copy this here for the span. I'm going to create a class equals. I'm going to paste that particular class name. 
I hope it's making sense, right? So this class name has to be same name as this class name that you have passed them here. So comma, this is going to be an object. Within this object, here we are going to have the dynamic content. That content is going to be a string. That is the reason why here I'm going to use the data type as strings. So what is the strings? Are we going to have them? It can be anything. So let's say the first string can be a web developer. So I'm going to replace this one with web developer. The second one, let's say graphic designer. If you wanted to have another one, you can still have them. Just separate them with comma, then another double quotes. Let's say full stack developer. This type speed is nothing but the speed that you can see them here on the screen. For example, the typing speed, this particular typing speed is by default, it says 30. So let me go and run this one now so that you will see how does this one would look like. There is nothing here. So what is the problem? Let me go to my code. This is element sorry unfortunately there is no dot here because that one is a class let me save go and refresh again yeah as you can see them there is is coming there so full stack developer from there it, it has stopped it is not moving back to the previous one so what is the problem i want that one to be continued isn't it so so if you want them to be continued put the comma here let's say loop and then this loop has to be true what does that mean? Yes, I want that particular things to be continued. So save, go there and refresh. Web developer, graphic designer, full stack developer. Again, it has gone back to the web developer. Let's say I wanted to reduce the speed. If you wanted to reduce the speed, you can reduce them. So let's say here instead of 30, when you say 130, the speed would be uh, low. Again, let's say you wanted to set the back speed. This one is a type speed. So when coming back, you wanted to set some speed. So we can say back speed. Even this back speed, I want them to be same. Let's say 130. So that both the forward direction and the back direction, the speed of the typing would be in the same speed. So there is a typo error. Let me save and go and refresh. I hope you can able to see the difference, right? Now, let's say I just wanted to change the color of this particular text. So for that, what can we do? I'm sure that you know. Let's get this class name for the span. Go to your style. So I'm going to style that one. Put dot. And then let's say I'm just going to have the color. Color can be, let's say, hello. So here, let me just pick some dark color. Let's say that particular font that you can see them as a dynamic text. Maybe let's say if you want to differentiate that font size, you can set the font size here. So let's say 40 pixel or whatever. And then font weight, let's say you want them to be both. So when you save this one, you will see now there will be a different color. Even the font size would be different. As you can see them there, the font size is different and font weight is different. Even the color of that particular font is different. I hope now it's making sense. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe the channel and hit the like button. Thank you so much.